morning and welcome to another vlog. So it's the next morning um, and this morning we're going to be doing the Gruffalo Trail. So we're all dressed and ready. There's the little ones, there's Emma, there's Hedison. We're not going swimming today, we're going to the Gruffalo. Yeah, we're going to go see the Gruffalo Trail but we're not going swimming. Yeah, we're Mommy all coming. Yeah. yeah, we're going to get in the car. We're going to take my car today. We've got the double pram because Danielle sort of read that it's quite a long walk and stuff because um, I think you have three hours for the Gruffalo Trail. So, yeah, lots of reviews say it's quite a long walk for little ones and stuff. So we put the double pram in um, just in case anything gets tired and like, we can't sort of carry him for a very long amount of time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, he'll go in that then if we need it. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to get him in the car. It's about half an hour away. So, we'll see you when we get there. And we have arrived. So, literally right in front of this uh, car park. You've got this really nice big park here. And um, I'm guessing the entrance is down there. That's where we're heading. It's like a nice sandy park with lots of big swings and play areas and big slide and stuff. See some kids like painting on a big like fancy sand thing up there. So yeah let's get inside and see what it's all about. I mean we just managed to get Emma asleep in the pram. So we'll get in and get on the trail. And we're in and Emma's awake as well so they just sort of gave us a uh, little like map of the place just to know where to walk around and they're also doing like an Easter trail so if you get like these stamps at the bottom you like a sticker and a little chocolate egg at the end if we do it. Yeah, such a nice place here already. We'll uh, just get this little one strapped in and then we'll go on the trail. Oh, a big jumping pillow. We'll do it at the end, is it? Oh, so it opens out onto a nice big open area. That's obviously the cafe. You can see the stick man there. they got guinea pigs here. <laughs> Becca will love this bit. But Tanya said he can go on the jumping pillow for a bit. So I have to help push Emma up this hill now. <laughs> and the jumping pillow! <laughs> okay, so a short, quick change later. Um, and we're off again. So uh, obviously, bad choice there. It's actually like really wet and damp that was. <laughs> and uh, it's got loads of sand around the outside, so he was like soaking wet and sandy. So we've changed him, and we're off. so he's nice and comfy again, and we're off! Looks like you got a stick man there, and very cute, and we're off on the trail now, so we've just got to follow all these black arrows. Edison leading the way of the four of us uh, to come here today, it was 26 pounds. That's not too bad for uh, two adults and two children, for a nice experience. She was free. Emma was free, so Emma's that's what it cost. So under two years is free, so that was for me. Edison and Mummy at uh, price, so yeah, hopefully it'll be worth the money, but it looks, from what I've seen so far, it looks really good. But coming up ahead, we can see another one of these like jumping pillows that Edison's just got soaked and sandy on, so <laughs> we'll have to sort of stop him from going on it. This way, we've got follow, following the trail. So it looks like they got one of these like climbing frame things. So they do have a lot of sort of gravel um, sort of walkways and stuff which is a bit hard to push the pram at times but uh, for the most part it is like hard and fairly easy stuff but there are sections that it's not easy. Yeah it looks like they got one of those sort of uh, you know zip line go ape sort of things. You can see a skeleton up there as well. <laughs> That's funny. Is that nice? Woo! Goodbye. So we got to collect these so we just, stamps. We just stamp the first one. So uh, yeah, we'll just stamp as we go round. I can see over to the right there. It says Gruffalo Trail. But if we look in front of us, it just sort of opens out onto a nice big field with these colourful flags. And you got a golf course to your left. <laughs> you can see someone playing golf over there. So sort of must run in parallel. So no entry. Gruffalo Trail is at the end. So we have to just keep going down because we can see all these black arrows as well that are aiming us in this direction. It's 
Let's keep going this way. So I think this cottage might be our next sort of stamp location. So I'll head down this way and get our third stamp in here. We did miss a guinea pig one, but that's kind of right at the very start. Um, and we forgot. There we go. Looks like we've even got an archery board here. See? Pull it back. Ready? Should we let go? Three, two, one, let go. You want to let go? Three, two, one, let go. Let go? Yeah. Woo! I'm going to try again. Right, we'll try again. Two, one, let go. Wow, Edison. Good boy. Hello, princess. You want fun? Yeah. Two, three. Whoa, good effort. Oh, and over here, they got some birds. Let's go have a look, Edison. Wow, look at those birds. You can't hold it. There's a big owl. A nice falcon. Don't even know what that is. Is that a buzzard or something? This is like a gruffalo cottage, Edison. Oh. <laughs> wow. Are you sitting in there? Go have a sit down. See, is it comfy? Yeah. No, it's not, is it? All right, well, is it comfy? Yeah. He's got a comfy house, is he? We'll move on then. And moving on, I could see already, you know, we haven't even, like, we're probably like 15, 20 minutes in and already doing quite a bit of walking, so I can see what people say when uh, it's a good, well, it's a long walk. So I'm kind of glad we brought the double pram because I think eventually we're going to have to just lump them in it, whether they're crying and stuff. <laughs> yep, yeah. looks like you got a zip line next. And um, then we got like a castle fort down here. Wow, it's like a wooden Welsh fort. <laughs> or like a castle. Looks good. So just gonna have a little play here and then we'll move on. Whoa! Oh, can Edison climb it? He's doing very well. Yay, well done. Well done. So next on our trail is the fairy forest. Explore the, fa explore the fairy forest for around 15 minutes before heading to Roly Poly Hill and the Dragon's Nest. See how many fairies you can find as you go. Off we go then, Emma. Just don't bump your head. Uh-oh, you're going to have to either duck right down and lift you off my shoulders for this part. Yeah. Wow. All this bunting. <gasps> what have you found, Edison? It's a fairy door. That's a little door for a mace, maybe? There's another door on the tree there. Yeah. Wow, Edison, look, there's a fairy up on the tree there. And there's another one. Sat up further up. Very pretty, aren't they? We carry on. This is very cute. Very cute woodland trail. There's a big haste there, up some steps. Wow. So whilst they're in the tree, me and Emma, tree haste, I mean, me and Emma just having a little wander around. You could literally wander through like, the entire forest with all these like woodland trails and stuff. It's really cool. Really nice, Emma. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably end up heading sort of down the hill that way because I think that's where the main black arrows are pointing. Wee! We can't do first on this one. Whoa, is that nice, Edison? It's Emma's turn too. Oh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Never mind. And further down the trail, our next stop, so we have missed the fairy one. The next stop is Roly Poly Hill. Wow, but as it's so wet, I don't think we'll be doing any roly polies today. So because uh, I can sort of see the next arrow is down there and it's pointing us this way, I think we'll take a slight shortcut just across the field here to our right, over to uh, a little sort of wooden, I don't know, play area and picnic benches. Yeah, so them are screaming in the background. <laughs> we went to Dragon's Nest. <gasps> and look up here, Edison, there's some big eggs. Yeah, some big dragon eggs. Wow, look how big they are. How many dragon eggs are there? How many? There's three. And if you look up, look up in the tree. Edison, what's up there? There's three dragons. Yeah, three baby dragons. 
Edison's obviously getting a little bit tired because he's sat in the pram. <laughs> I wish this moaning madam on my shoulders would sit in a pram too and be a nice non moany girl. Ah, oh. oh, good boy. Off to the next location. Everything's like uphill now because we seem to like come downhill all the way. And now everything's going to be back uphill to the start. Oh, it's got that little play area there. It says we're at the halfway point now. So we're halfway to walking back uphill. <laughs> like another little tree house up there. There it is. And next we find the Lost Boys hideout. That's another stamp location for us, but you can see it's just like a sort of climbing frame in the woods there. Looks really good. I'm sure Edison will have a little play in that in a sec. Let's catch up with Mummy. Either we might bypass it because he is quite tired, so. See what he wants to do. So we got them both in a pram for a moment. Gonna bypass the vomit comet tree swing and carry on under the trail. Got the willow maze here. Don't know if we're gonna do it or whether we'll just bypass it, but it doesn't look very big. These two have been a pain, so maybe we'll skip this or maybe I'll take a quick look. There is quite small, so I'll try and find the. Uh, oh, there's the stamp that we want. So if I just do this very quickly, just so. Even though we're missing one stamp, we've got the majority of them, we can hopefully get them a little egg or whatever at the end. And there we go. Now it's nice and easy. Let's get a stamp to get back to the kids. So up that way it looks like it's a big, big swing. But I can see up ahead following this trail, it's the next black arrow, which is a, well, I think where we want to go. Let's like see if we go in there, it sort of diverts you right as well anyway. So carry on. So that's the little area that we've just bypassed. It's just like a rope swing uh, there. Um, yeah, and a little sort of platform. So, good thing we wouldn't have been able to get through back through this way anyway because of that small bridge. From we go up the hill again. Oh, so it's open down onto this field. And it looks like those little houses up there is probably our Hobbit Hills, which is our next stamping area. And to our left, we've got deer trees. Looks like there's something else over there. Don't know what that is, but maybe we'll find out. Or maybe that's something for later on the trail. Let's go up and see these uh, hobbit houses as well, anyway. Play in the hobbit houses and spin on the mushrooms before heading to the enchanted wood and the gruffalo trail. Ah, oh, so these are cute little hobbit houses. And there should be somewhere another stamp location. I think I can see it up there behind on the hill. Look at Mummy! <laughs> they spin around! Whee! Wow! <laughs> is that cosy? Yeah. Very cosy, isn't it? Is this your house now? Yeah? Do you like? It's so cute. I'm gonna eat your snack in there. It's one hour trail. We have sort of cheated a bit because the fairy forest, we didn't, couldn't find that one. So Daniel sort of stamped it with the next one the same. But we've only got two left and then a big stamp. So we've got the Enchanted Wood and the Gruffalo left. But uh, Edison's just having a little bit of fun time here playing. A little swing while Emma's having some snacks in her pram. Trying to keep her quiet. And then we're going to move on to the uh, Enchanted Woods. <laughs> So far, it's really good, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's sort of worth the money and stuff, but it is a hell of a lot of walking. Um, and yeah, the sun's coming out now and I'm absolutely baking, so I'm gonna have to take my jumper off. But uh, with these two ones, obviously Edison's three, Emma's 14 months. Um, it's a lot of walking for Edison at three. So I'm glad we brought the double prank because he has just been in it for a little bit, walking up the hill um, and stuff. But yeah, it's... Uh, really good so far we still even haven't hit the gruffalo bit so need to carry on and uh, see what that part's all about so we're entering the enchanted forest now with all the bunting and stuff again oh it's like a nice wolf wooden curve in there as well wow that's cool other sort of wooden carving statues and more fairy houses and stuff Oh, you can see, I can see there in the background is a, uh, a wooden carving Grogu. <laughs> Looks like it's made from wicker actually, that one. Ah, that's really cool. The child. And to the right there I can see a unicorn as well. Just sat there, nice silver unicorn. 
So it's a nice uphill push now again through this enchanted forest. <laughs> it's like sat on the unicorn. Give him a good pat. Say good unicorn. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Say bye bye. Go and see what other animals we can find. Yeah. Is there a stamp thing here? Look at that done. There's one more. There's a nice close-up of uh, the Grogu or the child from the Mandalorians. That's really cool. <laughs> Very nice. And we've just come back out of that uh, thing there, entrance there. I want to like the main field again. The sort of where we began almost. Just got to head back up this way. Lemma's crying again. Try and find the Gruffalo Trail. I think this is the last arrow. Point this on to the Gruffalo Trail. So this is the entrance. So we sort of came in over there, went all the way down, through the woods, back up, back up here. And now we're on to the last bit, the Gruffalo Trail. So it says, silly old mouse, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a Gruffalo? Or is there? Head this way to follow the trail if you dare. <laughs> oh, and we see the mouse straight away. Wow, and he's holding a little acorn. And let's carry on down the trail. We've got to follow these footprints all the way down. Follow the bunting. Oh, still following the trail. And who have we found? Who is it, Edison? Mace took a stroll through the deep dark wood. Fox saw the mace and the mace looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mace? Come and have lunch, my underground haste. Do you want to sit down then? It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going yeah. to have lunch with the Gruffalo. Let it go down, 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 the winding trail again. <laughs> Onto the next point. Oh, and the next location. We find the owl. On went the mace through the deep dark wood, and owl saw the mace, and the mace looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mace? Come and have a tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but now I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. Ooh, snake's the next one. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favourite fruit is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye little mouse. And away I slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? Oh, what's this Edison? Yeah, go on then, spin it. And this time it says... Slither like a snake. Slither like a snake. Good boy. Jumping like a frog. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good boy. Growl like a gruffalo. Growl like a gruffalo. Ah, ah, you got me. <laughs> you silly boy. Edison, who's here? <gasps> More interesting spinning it. <laughs> who's there? It's the Gruffalo, goodbye. Gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned eight toes and a poisonous water at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. It's really good. Yeah. Cute statue. Yeah, we found him, Edison. That's the end of the trail, I think. Hey, yeah. so we got one more stamp here. That's the end of the trail. And so that concludes the trail, I think. This is like the life of a vlogger. If you ever do any family vlogs, there'll be times we have kids on your shoulders, pushing a pram and vlogging at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, Danielle just wants to get food now. She's a bit peckish. She's been holding out for a hot dog, but I don't, she just said she doesn't think they don't serve food until half 11. And it's only 25 past 10 at the moment. So we'll go back and see anyway, see whether that's right. I don't know whether she wants to hang around for an hour or not. Maybe in the park with the kids. Home until they do serve, or whether we just want to get back. But, let's get back to the main area anyway. On the flat. So we've got the goats right here as well. The sat up on the thing. There are four goats apparently. We're going to just sort of... Uh, Take Edison over to that jumping pillow again so we can have a little jump around and a little play before we head off. Yeah. 
Even Emma's getting some playtime in the sand. Uh, it's like being on the beach, isn't it, Emma? Yeah. It's turned into such a lovely day now as well. Edison's still playing on the jumping pillows, they're called. The sun's been out for a while and it's been gorgeous here, so we've had a really nice day. Still about 10 minutes later and they're still going. So Emma's still in the sand there and Edison's still bouncing up there. Did make a little friend just now, but she's got to go back on the trail now. So, bouncing on his own, bless him. Emma's having a lot of fun though. Oh, Emma, no. Was it with kids and eating sand? <laughs> well, yeah, we're all jumping together. Even Emma's on. Hey, go wee. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Holding on for dear life. It was fun, Edison? Yeah? Oh, we've coaxed him off finally. And we've headed back. And we are sort of back in the main area where the stick man is. Edison, obviously, you can probably hear. <laughs> Wants to go on the jumping pillow by here. But we've got to change Emma first. Edison does need a wee. Um, maybe see if they do any food here. And we'll come back out on the park. Just queuing up to get a uh, bit of food. Might be able to see the menu in the background right there, but probably just gonna get some hot dogs and a drink. <laughs> Served till 4 p.m. It's a nice little sort of dining area, really. It's all picnic bench style seating inside and then some more outside. And then they also do hot drinks as well there. So I forgot to take a uh, video of it at the start, but we got one for a ranch hot dog. A normal hot dog and some fries, and it came to eleven pound exactly. And you finished, have you? Yeah. Do you want any more chips? Yeah. yeah. There's lots of chips left. Yeah, I mean the chips are really good. I mean they were two fifty. Hot dogs are really good too. You know, just a bog standard sort of boiled hot dogs, I guess. Yeah, just go eat here. Maybe go in the park. We're heading back to the car, but we'll see. You want me to take my shoes and socks off too? All right. Edison loves the feel of sand on his toes. Emma's enjoying the swing. And Edison wants to go to the swing too. Wow! Both on the swing. And the Gruffalo's gonna get you. And he's gonna get you. And the Gruffalo's gonna get you. <laughs> ah! Wow, well, Emma, it's a fun. Yeah! What is it, Edison? Is it? Let's try it. Does it work? <gasps> oh no, it doesn't work. There's no water. It's turned off. Never mind. Just have to pretend. Have to pretend. It's broke. That's it. You're washing up. Goodbye. <laughs> Um, we're done for the day now, so we're going to be heading out and hopefully get our egg and our uh, sticker. And we're back home. So that was really, really good. The kids had a really good time there. So uh, glad we sort of took them. It turned out to be a really nice day for it as well. It was a bit cooler this morning, but uh, it's warmed up so nice now. But uh, yeah, I'm just staying for a sleep. Um, and I'm going to put together the patio furniture, but. I may put that in after this, or I may not. But if not, then I'm going to leave the vlog there. And so with that, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>